I'll be needing stitches I'm tripping over myself Shaking, begging you to come out Begging you to kiss us Your kisses And I'll be needing stitches That's right everyone, today it's all about Shawn Mendes' signature fragrance Stay right there, it's coming up right now So what's happening everyone? So again, as you saw, I'm joined by my two beautiful kids today to talk about Shawn Mendes' signature fragrance. Now, this fragrance, as you see here from the box, it was sent to me back in December of last year and I've never gotten a chance to try it or open this box. So, figure it would be a perfect opportunity. I was going through my fragrance, I saw I still had it. I was like, holy mackerel. This was sent to me by Elizabeth Arden, which is the parent company of this particular fragrance. So I'm gonna get a first impressions on both of these guys and mine just for you guys. So I have to open this thing, guys. It's like plexiglass, just bear with me. They sent me a card. Uh, my son will show you guys. This is, by the way, Daniel, my son. How's it going? And Alana, my daughter. Happy holidays from Shawn Mendes Signature. So this was from December of last year, guys. So that's how hard it is sometimes to review these things. It was just pretty much forgotten. Oh, oh, it comes with, oh this is really cool, guys. So this is actually a set. There's like a gift set, that's a whole awesome. bunch of stuff. Not only the fragrance, but you get, I think, a travel sprayer and a roller or I don't know, like a roller and a Shawn Mendes body lotion. That's really, really That's cool. Awesome. I'm happy I actually didn't open this right away to do it with these guys. All right, so the bottle is pretty cool. You get this uh, this pick, like a guitar pick with Shawn Mendes' signature, and the cap, it's like, uh, you know, string, like guitar strings. Ooh, oh, wow. The Dulce de Leche is really prominent on this gourmand. one. So Very nice. gourmand. You get like a little Shawn Mendes card. So let's dissect, you guys can check out the bottle and in the scent, you can actually put a little bit in your skin if you want. So I have the notes here on my phone, I want to talk a little bit about that. The perfumer behind this one, again it was released last year, 2017, the perfumer is Celine Burrell. And up top you're going to get red apple, pineapple and lemons. You're going to get this floral rose maple sap in the heart, in the base cedar musk and dulce de leche, which we love. Now this is Alicia is like a dessert, like a Spaniard dessert that you can eat with churros and stuff. And I really get that. It's very prominent. It's very fruity. It reminds you of It smells a lot it. different though when you spray it on your skin. You can't really smell the Dolce de Leche as much. It's more it of the lemon. Can. But it's not as prominent as in, in the air. Just a little hidden note. Wow. It's almost boozy when you put it in your skin. Yeah, it's not as it's much gourmand. Boozy. Almost like a like a rum, like a like a liqueur cord oh. that I get on my skin. So that's one thing about fragrances, guys. Always try on your skin because it's always going to be different than when you spray in the air or on a test strip. All right, so we can't really tell you guys about as far as performance goes, but because of the scent profile, I think this would be good for like five to six hours at least. It's quite strong, actually. Unisex, it is. Right? It's supposed to be unisex. Would you wear this, uh, Dan? I think I would, but it, 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 I feel like it is leaning more, to, surprisingly more feminine than. I think if the guy was wearing this, I would think he was very inviting. Yeah. That's one thing I was gonna say. Uh, I think it is leaning more on the feminine side of the spectrum. However, like she said, if a guy wore this, it would show a lot of confidence mm -hmm. with that sensual kind of a, you know, a scent character this has. Yeah. But it's definitely more feminine if you're just looking at the scent itself. But yeah, a guy could definitely Sweet. pull this off. For sure. Yeah. But I do, I do see how it's more feminine, but I think a guy wearing feminine scents is like a very, um, Kind of crazy. Sign of thing. confidence. Yeah. yeah. So, how would you guys rate the scent itself? From five being an okay scent, so so, man, mediocre, and ten being an outstanding scent. What do you mm -hmm. think, Alana? Maybe a maybe a five or six. Five or six. Wow. How about you, Dan? Say like a seven. I like how it's. It's I, the one thing that I'm even kind of surprised about is it was created by Shawn Mendes, who is a man, but it's more of a feminine scent, which I respect very much. So, and it does it does have androgyny and it's androgynous scent, so I respect that a lot. But I'd say six or seven, more more t leading towards the seven side. I'll do a six and a half, seven as well, just like Dan, uh, because of the courage that it took him to make a scent that's kind of androgynous. Yeah. Uh, and also leaning more towards feminine, even though he's a guy, he could have done something more masculine. He would definitely sell out more uh, for that courageous kind of a you know creative you know take on this fragrance i definitely give it about a seven um i would probably not wear this myself you know thinking about all the fragrances that i have because it has a little more of a you know feminine kind of aspect i probably have my wife try this and see how she would like it and how much does this go for so guys you can find the actual fragrance between 36 and 40 bucks just the fragrance the gift set i think i think it's gonna run about 60 bucks so uh so my daughter was saying that as far as the scent itself it reminds her of it reminds me of a scent that I had actually when when I used to go to Bath and Body Works. 
but I can't put my finger on which one it was. I agree. It has almost like a body mist type of thing that you would find at you know Bath and Body Works or even Victoria's, Victoria's Secret. Secret yeah. yeah, it has that kind of a scent characteristic to it. So yeah, about a six and a half is what I would give this. You know, yeah. seven is a stretch. Not great, but okay. You yeah. know, I'd say if you can find this discount, then definitely grab it if you, if you like sweet floral scents. You'll like this one, you know, if you want to give it as a gift, you know, for under 40 bucks, it would be a great buy. I'd say definitely leaning towards more a feminine gift because it is a great feminine scent. But it, yeah, I, I agree with these guys. It does smell sort of body misty, sort of not, not, well, I mean, for the price, if you get it discounted, it's not cheap for the, for the price. For but, what you're getting, right? Yeah, but if you're getting it for like 60 bucks, it might be, a, it might not be worth the money. The bottle's pretty cool though. The creativity is, yeah. behind the bottle, I think it's the, is the highlight and the, 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 you know, the highest point of the actual presentation. I really like the bottle. Well, well, yeah, I would say if you, if you like Shawn Mendes, it's a good uh, like novelty item because it doesn't smell bad. And if you like Shawn Mendes, it's like a Collectible. Right, and you guys know how that works. The moment this becomes discontinued, it might be an item to uh, hold on to. To hold on to. Yeah. All right, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate you guys. You know, I hope you guys like this review. Please comment down below. Let me know if you guys have tried signature from Shawn Mendes. Let's start a little conversation. In the meantime, as always, keep, keep on, on spraying. spraying. See you next time.